Welcome to Venusian Soul Tarot. Today I'm back with a timeless pick a card reading and it's going to be a message from your guardian angel. So I want you to cast your gaze over the cards and ask your higher self which cards have a message for you. We have pile number one, pile two, pile three and pile four. If you need to pause the video to meditate further, please do so. But for those of you who are ready, let's get started. Hi group one. So the message from your guardian angel, I feel there's this energy of purification around the past, around past experiences, past hurts, past events. But there's also this energy as well of coming to a place of clarity and truth where it's almost like um, realizations or awakenings of why things uh, occurred the way they did. For those of you where there's been a lot of turmoil internally, where you've been going through a lot emotionally, mentally, spiritually, I feel like that time of turmoil, confusion, even for some of you, lack of connection is coming to an end. So we have here with truth. Today I discover my greatest truth is within me. It is a divine force that whispers from my inner self. I listen to this voice closely, putting aside my controlling mind. In this way, I find all the answers I am looking for. I am now in harmony with myself, and I welcome the love of God, which is the truth that will guide me towards my fullest, most shining radiance. So again, I feel like for some of you, you've been in this phase perhaps of inner, what would I say, inner processing, inner healing, clearing, cleansing, and I feel, but I feel for many of you, you're coming out of it here with this Ten of Wands. There is a sense of completion. What you're getting, going to be receiving as well with the Knight of Wands and Three of Pentacles is renewed passion. Renewed passion for yourself, for life. But for some of you, I do feel there's a romantic connection here. There is a soulmate union for those of you that desire that. But there's just this sense of um, coming out of the fog is what I just heard. And you also had feelings. Emotions want to be felt. You really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. Allow me, dear divine, to offer all emotions to you, feeling them fully so they no longer hold me captive. And this is what I'm feeling as well. Like there's, um, for this group, you may be at different points on this path. I feel like there's either you've done a lot of inner work and you're coming out of it into a new phase where there's a lot of passion, new connection, uh, a lot of positivity, or you're still going through this process. But with that nine of swords, it's three of swords sitting above the nine of swords. I'm just hearing like healing mind, body, spirit. So there is a lot of message. There is a message here of a lot of support and guidance for you as you go through this process. For those of you, we do have two of coins and two of swords. For those of you who feel really confused right now or you're I don't know, like you, you don't fully see the path ahead. You're not really sure, you know, what's going on, how things are going to pan out, what that looks like, what you should be doing. It's like spirit is letting you know that you are being supported through that process. But I feel like if things are chaotic or at a standstill on the physical level, it's because it's giving you time to really go within. Yeah, with Three of Swords, sitting above Three of Swords, we have Reframe. This is happening for me, not to me. This is a realization you're coming to is certain, it could be a specific hurt or something that really uh, was wounding, a past pain, but it could be more than one event, but it's that realization of this is why it had to happen this way. This is why things, you know, occurred in this manner. This is why this person left my life. There's some sort of awakening or epiphany and clarity in terms of something that used to be really painful, perhaps that you tell yourself a very painful story about. It's like you're seeing things differently now. It's, it's very clear to you. And you also have clearing sitting above the two of coins. Uh, as true offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from my, my, mind to God, God, God's such freedom. Yeah, I feel with two of coins as well, you may be at this place of deliberation where you're trying to clarify what you want to take with you into this next cycle. You're trying to really consider or what path, because for some of you, 
I feel like there may be a new passionate beginning that's opening up for you. I do feel for some of you it's definitely in love and in your relationship sector at the very least. But for others of you with this three of coins, it may be a, a choice in terms of what you want to do in regards to your passions or career, your vocation. And I feel you may really be deep diving and going within during that phase just to try and get clarity or kind of reach that truth within you in terms of, okay, this is what I want to do. This is what feels right. This is my new direction. I feel like there may be a little bit of deep diving as you go through that process. You also have divine source above nine of swords. I feel like your guardian angel wants you to ask to pray and ask for help, not to fall into that trap of overthinking or worry because I feel you do have a lot of spiritual support around you right now because of what you're going through, because of your healing and your transformation. But I feel, I just keep hearing, don't be afraid to ask for help and also to trust instead of giving in to fear. Help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you will have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all. So some of you as well, I see you in this process where you are healing and you are going within. But you may be really asking spirit, like, what do I need to do next? What does that look like? And you just have miracle. The frequency of miracle supports our belief in ourselves as a part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible. There's new doorways that are opening up for you, like new opportunities, new adventures, new experiences. But it's, I don't know, there may be an element of it being dawning or right now they haven't shown up yet. So there could be an, uh, an element of fear or surprise, like, or is this going to happen? Doubt. So I feel like you're on, because you've done a lot of healing and shedding and clearing, you're on a really divine, beautiful path and there are new opportunities coming for you. But again, depending on where you're at in that healing process will determine how far off these outcomes are. Because you also have passion sitting above the Knight of Wands. So you're definitely going to be feeling more inspired and passionate. The frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies a hidden gem of insight, balance and calm. It assists us in finding the balance within this intensity, moving us from chaos to the calm of its core, where we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up. Yeah, I, th I feel like for some of you, you may be really asking like what, you know, what makes me happy? What do I want to manifest next? Uh, what, what direction is spirit leading me? I feel like there are some questions around your path moving forward because part of why you've triggered or gone through this huge purge and clearing and healing process is because you finished that cycle. You're done with that cycle and I don't think there's anything else you can gain from it. There's nothing more to learn. So uh, naturally, you're going to now expand and extend into new horizons. But you also have romantic love as well as the four of uh, wands, and it's sitting above the three of coins. For some of you, you might meet or find a connection either at work or through some sort of hobby or passion. We have the frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with and reflection of a conscious lover. Yeah, you definitely have new relationships and new connections coming in. And for some of you, I do feel this is a new career or a new passionate path, whether this is like a side business, side hobby that could grow into something. Seeing above two of swords, you have Lemurian seed codes, embracing sensitivity, uniqueness, living with grace. I feel like you're coming more so into your own and I, I'm hearing... Because of this process you've been through, it's very difficult for you to be or live anything less than authentic. Like I don't see for this group that you could have a career, for example, that doesn't really resonate with you or you could be in environments with people that just aren't on your frequency. I feel like there's a level of alignment that's happening within your energy field and the path ahead. And that's why this guardian angel is coming through, really letting you know and supporting you in that. You also have Emerald Tablet Activation, Cosmic Ordering, Divine Alchemy, Conscious Manifesting. 
So again, there are going to be a lot of manifestations that come in for you because of this healing work. But what the guardian angel is showing me is it's like your path is aligning. I feel for some of you, it's sitting above the four of wands. Your path is literally aligning to someone else, to a soulmate, to a um, divine connection. But I also feel in general, there is a level of alignment that's happening between inner and outer world, especially for those of you who are further along on this healing process and you feel like, well, I've done the healing work, I've put in the effort, why hasn't it shown up or where are these things? And there's this really strong message that it's coming and you're on the right path. There's a need to just have a little more faith and just allow things to unfold in their own timing. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hi, group two. So the message from your guardian angel is all around faith. I feel in particular faith around your prosperity and faith in the sense that you will be provided for, that you will be sustained. Now, the other message I just heard, if things are falling apart right now, they're falling apart so that they can fall together in a better way or a way that's more suited to you, especially with this tower here. Because they're almost showing me, I think right now for this group, and when I look at the smoky quartz as well, it makes me think of um, purification. And I just look down and your first oracle is energetic clearing. So there's something happening in terms of your journey and this process where things may be falling away or things may not be working on a physical level or they may seem like they're not working, but it's in a way to help it, it's almost like the, the thing that wasn't the best path for you or the thing that wasn't the highest potential is falling away to make way for your ultimate success or your ultimate abundance. It will vary for all of you, but I feel this is more around finances and career and physical circumstances. Because you have the five of coins as well sitting above the devil. So I feel for this group, there could be a lot of fears right now. And with the tower showing up next to the moon, um, obviously things can be falling apart, but it can seem somewhat with the moon, it's almost like there's a level of confusion or not being able to fully clarify or figure out what is happening or why it's happening or where, how you should handle this. There seems to be a lot of uncertainty. So we have, God sustains me as I turn each day over to God, my worries ease and my resistance softens. In the arms of God's love, I find inner peace, even in challenging times. Today, my faith provides me with great strength. I welcome all that comes my way, knowing that the love of God sustains me. And then you also have calmness. The inner divine is a witness of all, remaining still and quiet, even during intense turbulence. So take a deep breath and then say, quiet my mind, dear Lord, may your peaceful calm take over. So again, I am getting an energy of a lot, a lot going on in the physical world. And that could be triggering certain fears internally as well, or doubts around, I just heard your safety, but I, I'm feeling more like um, financial safety, security. There's this big release that's happening, but um, this guardian angel is making me feel as though it's a positive, but it may not look like a positive in terms of how it's playing out. So the biggest call for this group is how can I center myself and have faith and remain calm and trust in God and spirit, even when, you know, the physical doesn't seem conducive to my overall happiness or things don't seem like they're working out for my highest good. It's, it's almost like, being able to anchor in that perspective. With the Page of Swords and Six of Wands, for some of you, I feel like there's going to be a new opportunity for your for success. This could be, it could come in the form of an idea, like a business idea or a creative idea. For others of you, I feel like it could be a job opportunity. And there could be some sort of networking and you receive an offer. But, but things are coming is what I'm hearing, but it's almost like they're showing me everything has to be wiped clear to bring in this new energy and this new phase. Yeah, because it's like you are this queen of wands. You are talented. You have that, that power, that confidence, that potential. But right now, it, 
things may be a little shaky. Here you have energetic clearing. <laughs> During crises, the Holy One herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments, pre preparing you to receive her luminous plan. That's exactly what I feel. It's like, yeah, this guardian angel keeps showing me wiping the plate or like um, wiping the slate or like they show me now like a whiteboard where you're clearing off all the writing and it's like clearing old beliefs, old energies, old patterns, old, I don't know, for some of you, this could be like a job or connection. It's just like they're showing me like uh, a pristine surface where you can start. Mm. You also have companionship. And it's sitting above the Five of Pentacles, so this could also have to do with feeling alone. But I, I do feel a really strong message around having trust around finances. So we have giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. I just heard giving yourself your complete presence is an astonishing gift. I feel like right now, and also really calling on Spirit, God, connecting with your definition of the divine calling on this guardian angel, calling on spirit guides, archangels, just really allowing yourself to feel that support. You also have here non-duality. Let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bowing to the inner divine. You can become fluent at doing both. Okay. So again, I, I just heard vulnerable, feeling vulnerable, feeling a sense of vulnerability. Part of why this is happening though for many of you is, and this was sitting above the lovers, I feel like, first of all, you're integrating more of your higher self or you have done so. You've integrated a higher level of consciousness. But because you've done so, I feel as though you may not be, it's almost like, the things that once resonated with you, the things that once could sustain you are no longer at your frequency. So that's why this shedding is happening. You also have here um, discernment. The frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment yet with compassion and wisdom. I feel like you're also learning how to not hold on to anyone or anything. There's a really strong energy of detachment, not in the sense of, oh, I don't care about anything, but there's allowing life to kind of be, to flow. If something is leaving, trust that it's time for it to leave. If something is coming, trust that arrival. There, there's some sort of inner alchemy that's happening where you are able to really be at peace with the flow of life. You also have prosperity. I'm hearing again, this tower has to fall to bring in more prosperity, to bring in more success. So if you have lost anything or you feel as though your finances are slowed, it's designed to put you on this new path where there is a lot more abundance. So you have the frequency of prosperity supports our feeling of well-being by allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit sing. It invites us to express ourselves in joy and celebration of the abundance and riches that the universe provides. So you're being prepared again to receive more, but I, I'm hearing like right now, it may definitely not look like that. It could look, it couldn't seem as though everything's falling apart, or it may seem that you know, your source of abundance isn't there anymore. There, there's something that's got to be wiped away. Or for some of you, I feel like it may feel as though your whole world or your life or everything you've known is being cleared away. I feel like this is a, a really drastic change. So naturally that can trigger some fear, especially mentally. But I feel like this guardian angel is coming in, letting you know you are safe, you will be provided for, and you can trust. You also have here universal love. The frequency of universal love activates the connection we feel to each other, to our planet, and to the whole of existence itself. Yeah, you've stepped into a higher level of consciousness, and I feel like this change is going to further usher that in. But it's like, how can I anchor in this light and this love and this frequency, even when everything seems so uh, chaotic or up in the air around me? how to keep your center and balance. 
Yeah, you have Akashic Records, clearing old stories, releasing past lives, freedom. Yeah, it's like you're being complete, like the past is being completely cleared for you. Past beliefs, past energies, it could be past karma. You've definitely completed a cycle. Um, there's your set, set. This this group feels like a carry-on from group one. Like I feel like group one, this is where they'll be maybe in like a couple of months time. There seems to be some links. But there, there's a sense here of in order to write a new story, it's like you need you need a new template or it's giving you a new foundation to build the new life on. Yeah, and sitting above six of wands, you have stellar gateway activation, infinite potential, manifestation, vortex. You're going to reach a time and I think you're near that point where things manifest really easily and readily. Uh, there's not going to be as much struggle or effort in the physical world. I feel like finances are going to, uh, going to flow more readily, ideas, support, companionship. So you're coming out of a time where you have had to struggle or really push through. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hi, group three. I feel this guardian angel is supporting you with something you're going to create in the physical. I just looked at the Six of Cups and the King of Wands and heard for some of you, this could be a childhood dream or something that, you know, you've really wanted to attain, but there's something you're going to create and bring forth into the physical. With that High Priestess, I feel like for some of you, this is uh, some sort of download it's, it could be like a, a spiritual uh, message or something to help the collective. For many of you, though, it's some sort of creative path or vocation. There's something for some of you, you may also write a book or there may be something around writing or communication. But I just get the feeling, or for some of you, it's a business with the emperor and the high priestess. But I feel many of you, it's some, it may be more of a creative um, business vocation path. Yeah, and I keep looking at this Ace of Cups and I'm seeing it as an offering. There's something you're offering to the world. There's something you're offering to the collective, but there's a need to have, to really be in your power with the Emperor and the King of Wands, very strong uh, energies of confidence. There's something that you need a level of confidence to attain or to offer in the physical. So we have my creative power. I recognize the creative power of my thoughts. I know that I can use them to build or to destroy. Today, I choose to use my thoughts to create a universe filled with joy and harmony. I will maintain a positive attitude. I have the power to create love and peace. And then you have change. Don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. All you need is that one next action. You can say to love, just show me the first step and change me into one who can take it. This guardian angel is coming through because they're offering you that next step. They're offering you either a vision or some sort of guidance about how to proceed with something you want to manifest. With the four of cups sitting above the six of swords, it makes me feel as though this opportunity more represents the Ten of Cups rather than the Four of Cups. And it may give you the opportunity to leave something behind, to leave a path behind, to go in a new direction, to start a new adventure. I keep hearing that new beginning. But with that, I do feel when I'm tapping into your energy, for some of you, there, there could be some lingering fears though, because I'm still feeling like a, a level of doubt or hesitation, like I'm not sure, especially with this two of wands. You may still be in that phase where you're deliberating. You're not, you know, you have the idea or you have the spark, you have the desire, the passion, but there could be something ahead of you that either frightens you or you're still kind of going back and forth in terms of, how to make it happen or there, there's some sort of barrier internally that I feel is fear-based. So you have sacrifice. Sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions. It's a sacrifice uh, to love. So for some of you, there could have been, you may have needed to make sacrifices to follow or pursue this, this dream, this path, this vision. 
or that may be part of it as well, that there's certain things that you leave behind in order to follow this road. We also have divine abund abundance. So again, this is definitely something that can bring you a lot of abundance. You are born to align with love's will, follow the tower and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance, not chase it. Yeah, I think you're going to learn uh, and you, you are learning a lot about manifestation, uh, how to attract what you want, how to be it in consciousness rather than, you know, pursue it mentally. So there's a sense of ultimately alchemy, which is funny because you also have the card here for alchemy. You also have divine flow sitting above the emperor. Eventually one sublime desire takes precedence over all others to follow the tale of the divine flow at all costs. See, I feel like that divine flow, like there's some sort of burning desire or passion within you to do something or create something. And it's like that desire, it, that's where sacrifice comes in, in the sense, it may not even feel like sacrifice to you because you're feeling so inspired and passionate about this path. I keep saying, look at the butterfly, blue butterflies. Again, transformation, change. But you're transforming yourself and your consciousness so you can live your destiny. And I feel like this guardian angel is supporting you with how, what steps to take on a practical, physical level, but also how to align your consciousness to receive, to create. Okay, we've got this alchemy. And again, we have the number eight beneath abundance. So I see this bringing in a lot of abundance for this group. The frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside. Each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. So again, you're learning how to bring your visions, intentions into matter, but you're learning how to become in consciousness what you need to be to match that. Because it's one thing to change your thoughts, but if there's other aspects of being that don't correlate with what you're asking for, it's more difficult to come into alignment. And that's shown here with consciousness sitting above the two of wands. So again, I feel like there's some sort of fear, uncertainty, doubt that's acting as a barrier in consciousness to this new path. The frequency of consciousness supports our ability to focus our attention on all the multidimensional aspects that show up so that we can include them in our reality. And we also have magic. The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond the moment to move toward possibilities and expressions that are as grand and profound as we can imagine. All that is required is our belief in their manifestation. So again, I feel like this guardian angel is working with you in terms of your beliefs, your thoughts, um, what you tell yourself, maybe even your confidence around a particular creative gift or ability or project, business, path, career path. For some of you, it may be that barrier or block and that fear I was sensing could actually be doubts about your uh, capability. You also have I am presence, light body activation, accessing the divine within. Mm. Again, I feel like through this alchemy and I feel like what's driving this alchemy is this manifestation or something you're creating. But it's like as you go through that process, the light around you just keeps growing, expanding, elevating. And with this light body activation, I'm, I'm seeing you being very lit up. But I think some of that is coming from your passion, your talent, um, just you feeling very, very inspired from this path. You also have Pleiadian activation. Coming together, harmony in the heavens, resolution. Okay. What I'm hearing is things are aligning for you. Uh, and with the resolution, I'm hearing you will have your breakthrough. And I do feel whatever, it'll vary for all of you, but whatever specifically you're bringing into the world, you're offering, you're creating, you're growing into, it's like it will, it is going to manifest, 
But again, I feel like there's a process or there may be some changes that you go through in the interim that enable that alignment. Yeah, I feel like what I'm hearing is your creative potential. And even when you think of manifestation, it is creative potential. Your creative potential is just unlimited. I feel for this group, you're either you're very, very talented with a particular gift or idea or vision or career path, but you um, it's like you have endless energy to devote into it. Maybe not endless, but th there just seems to be a lot of um, passion. It's like, I, I just see you doing... It, it, they're not showing me just like one little idea that you grow and bring into the world. They're showing me like that idea leads to another idea leads to another idea. Or if it's a business, it's like you have this stream of income, another stream of income. There's a lot of expansion around you where it's like that light field. It's like magnetism. You're able to magnetize. You remind me of the sun, that energy where it's um, so creative, almost Leo energy, very potent um, very inspiring, lit up. It just people, things are going to be so um, drawn to you and magnetized to you, and it's going to bring a lot of blessings, especially abundance, but opportunity as well. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hi, group four. So for this group, I feel when I first lay the cards, I heard trust yourself. So I feel like there's a message here of really allowing your heart, allowing your, um, your higher self, your inner self to be guiding you on this process and don't, don't give up or lose hope because I feel for this group, um, you're heading, you're heading to like, I don't know what I want to call that, like a, the golden ticket or there's something, there's so much prosperity here. But it comes from a journey of self-empowerment, self-love, personal growth. So we have here the eyes of the heart. Today I perceive the real beauty of every person I meet. With the eyes of my heart, I see behind the personality and focus on the energy of love that, do that dwells beneath the surface. I am filled with wonder at the presence of God in every one of us. The eyes of the heart allow me to see the divine shining everywhere. And then empowerment, when you ask the divine to take over, you get pulled into your own authentic power. It's a force of inner love that wants your wholeness and magnificence. Unfold my true and radiant self, dear Lord. So what I feel is like for this group, you come and it's funny we say a journey of, it's a journey of self. We, we, we start with a hermit. So it's a spiritual journey. It's a journey of self. It's, you know, the path of awakening, enlightenment. But when we speak of becoming whole, you have the king of coins and the queen of coins. And I, I'm reading that as you becoming whole and integrating the, uh, the divine masculine and divine feminine elements within self. But I feel for some of you, this may have been a long and lonely journey or path where the hermit, eight of cups, strength, king of coins, I feel like you've only had yourself to well yourself and god obviously spirit this guardian angel um archangels i feel like have been guiding and supporting you in that process but on a physical level it may not have felt as though there was a lot of support i feel like it may have really tested you or pushed you to find that strength and power within yourself And with that Ten of Coins, again, it's like you're heading to a time where you're so prosperous. And I said like the golden golden ticket, golden coin. And you can see here she's got this like prize coin. And here I feel like he's making an offering. There's a sense of some sort of offering coming to the physical and the Five of Wands um, to the side. I accidentally grabbed nine cards for this group. But there's a sense of... I don't know, there's some sort of idea or vision or something you're going to create if you haven't already started that process already that brings that leaves a legacy. This isn't just like, oh, it makes me a lot of money. With the hermit, this is some sort of, this is definitely like life purpose energy, but it's um, you know, like a spiritual vocation, something that your soul really calls you to. Mm. And I see you being... You end up being incredibly abundant in the physical, but for you, 
I don't know, for this group, I feel like you're very old souls. So for you, abundance in the sense of, oh, I have, you know, tons of money in the bank account may not be as meaningful. Like it's a nice bonus, but I just feel it's kind of like, um, yeah, that's what I just heard, spiritual pilgrimage. For some of you, I feel like you've been on this spiritual pilgrimage or this journey and this voyage and it's, you know, there's been so many twists and turns. You've had to leave so many people behind. You've had to really strengthen yourself, foster your own vision and really trust your own knowing. You have change sitting above the hermit. So there could be a shift coming in your path where you're ready to allow in more. It could be allowing in more people, connections. There's definitely more abundance coming. So when the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything, you come to a sacred crossroads in your own evolution. I feel for this group, you've kind of ascended beyond the getting. Like, oh, I have to try to get this, get that. You know, how the ego tends to operate from competition and survival. I feel for this group, you're well beyond that energy. There's a sense that you trust in what's meant for you. You're not afraid to let go of things. There's a, um, you've reached a level of detachment. You just have worth. But again, I feel like you've had to leave perhaps a lot of people or situations behind that didn't honor your worth. You have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. For this group, I feel like you're coming to that or you've already come to that realization that you are divine love, that everything flows from within you. And yet yeah, again, receiving, I feel like you're going to be receiving a lot of blessings because of your past efforts, because of the work you've done on yourself, because of your healing. Every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and to trust my inner guidance. There's definitely, for this group, you have a very clear life purpose a very clear vision path something you're creating or will be creating a synergy above the king of pentacles the frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of not so obvious never seen before combinations and unions that result in new ways of functioning working thinking, relating, loving, and being. It reminds us to embrace the unfamiliar so that new yet exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality. With this card, I feel like for some of you, you may be ushering in teachings, wisdom, a business. For some of you, this group, you're definitely some sort of healer or spiritual teacher or you help guide. You may literally be a teacher, but there, there's an element of guidance. But I'm feeling as well with these cards, it's like you're helping to bring in higher ways of being, higher ways of viewing, for example, like if we're looking at one sector, it could be the education system, it could be um, the economic system, how people relate to finances, abundance, equality, all these topics. But there's something that you're bringing in of a much higher frequency. You have fertility sitting above the ten of coins. Because you've reached such a, an advanced level of, growth and ascension it's like you have the minus touch yeah i just heard everything you touch turns to gold the frequency of a fertility invites us to be more open more courageous more creative and more joyful than we were before it activates the potential for something beautiful to grow from our consciousness into a new and grander expression of ourselves yeah and especially you have sitting above the ace of coins the third eye chakra and there's some sort of vision you receive from this guardian angel from spirit about what you're creating it could be more than one thing you may be having a lot of downloads in terms of what you want to share you may be helping as well with um i just heard it could be it doesn't have to be female empowerment but it could be empowering women um helping people see things it's like whatever niche you specifically are called to, it's like you're elevating it. You're elevating the beliefs around it. You're ele elevating the consciousness around that structure or system. The frequency of the third eye chakra, the indigo flower of life, supports our intuition, our inner knowing, our imagination and our psychic powers. Because you're so connected with the divine within you, with source, you are going to be... Hang on. <laughs> You are going to be, sorry, I've got a, I've got a message. You may be seeing white birds and 
um, or white animals. It doesn't have to be a white rabbit, but I'm just saying white animals. So that could be significant or a sign for you or white feathers. But um, because you're so in touch with yourself, you're also so in touch with spirit. You have halls of amente initiation, secrets revealed, treasures uncovered initiations. Yeah, you're going into a new phase where you may be really uh, kind of busy working at something. Busy at manifesting, bringing something into form, creating. You have here as well, star gathering. <clears throat> Stars aligned, remembering home, soul family. So again, I feel this group, you're definitely star seeds. You're definitely ancient souls. But I feel like you're here. It's like they're saying you came here for a very clear mission. But I feel like you had to go on this spiritual voyage yourself to prepare or be ready for what you're going to deliver to make sure your vibration, your energy, your frequency was where it needed to be to kind of create these shifts or to bring these shifts into form. And I feel with star gathering, it's like you're coming back. I'm hearing you've collected all the data, you've collected all the wisdom, the knowledge, um, the, you know, the, the experiences you needed to now to merge it into something or to be able to shift it because often we have to know something to be able to change it. We have to have a knowledge or awareness of it. So I think the next stage is very much around creation and leaving your legacy. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day.